and welcome to the Friday, Friday show. show. Awkward dancing, awkward, awkward, all the awkward dancing. I don't know why I was just doing more arms than legs. Because it's good. It's, yeah. yeah. Express yourself. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I am Kaylee, this is Carly and Colette, and today we are making a really fun DIY Halloween treat bag that looks like a witch's broom. <gasps> what? This is so fun. I love I thought one. that this was such a fun idea. Um, you can make them any size. I decided to do like smaller bags so that if you want to give them to your class or to mm -hmm. nieces and nephews or to grandkids, you can do that. But you can also do like bigger bags. And then I also wanted to add a little pencil so that your kid yeah, is getting like cute. a pencil. And then you can also fill these with candy or with like erasers or yeah. like pencils mm -hmm. or you know. Because our school yourself. doesn't do tr like the trick or treat thing. Mm -hmm. They just do more of like a classroom party. Yeah. And so that would be, that's such a good idea. Yeah, I thought that this was just a fun oh, and easy thing to make. So cute. So, and you only really need a couple of things. This is a lot of stuff that I had just on hand from other crafts. But I did pick these little bags up at Hobby Lobby. They're so and cute. And they're just little. a little bit smaller, like I said, yeah. And you can even find smaller ones. So if you wanted to do some, like a bag that's even smaller mm -hmm. than this, you could do it. So you're going to need, for sure, two bags for each um, bag. <laughs> for and each then room. You definitely need a pencil and then something to tie around the top to keep all the candy in and to keep it all together. So you can use any string. I got all of these at Hobby Lobby. So just a bunch of different string. And then you can get different things to decate it with. I thought that these little oh, those are so cute. wire things, mm -hmm. what are these called? Lighter. Pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners, yeah. Mm -hmm. Were really cute to put around. And then spiders. I knew a craft kind of term. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud. Winning. I was like, is, this, is that what it's really called, a pipe That's cleaner? That's what I've always yeah. called it. It is, I think, yeah. Yeah, and then little spiders. You could also stick like little eyeballs on there, so you can just like have a lot of fun with these. So cute. Nothing too like crazy. The first thing that you're going to do is take one of your paper bags, and you're just going to take a pair of scissors and cut strips up the top. And you're, you're going to want them to go a little higher than you think you're going to, because you want it all to cinch at the top, and then for this to look like the broom bristles. And you're going up from the bottom of the Up bag. from the bottom, yes, because the treats are going Start to go from the, the bottom, top. now we're here. Okay. And you want to leave it closed until you put the other paper bag in. So I'm just taking and cutting. And you don't want these to be like perfect. So if you know if they're kind of like raggedy, that's good because it's like a, a witch's like broom. A yeah. Witch's broom. <laughs> so I didn't want them all even at the top. I kind of did some like a little lower, some a little higher. And then I'm just going to go up and make like a few like smaller ones. And you don't have to do this. You can just be done there. But if you want to add a little bit more, because when it like when the scissors kind of like click, it kind of makes it look even more jaggedy and I like that, so. So now you're going to take your other paper bag and you're just going to slide it in. And just work it down in there. And then you're just gonna kind of open it all up together. And then I went through the bottom and I'm just going to snip a few of these so that they're not all holding the bag in. You want to be sure to keep like some of them in the middle um, together so that you don't totally cut out the bottom of the bag. But even if you do, it's fine because this other bag will keep everything in. That's so cute. I never would have thought of this. And then on the sides. She makes it look so easy, huh? I I feel like nervous. Like I'm used to crafting by myself and I'm like, just like pressuring you. Me. <laughs> Whenever you have to do anything on camera, you always just feel like, I know. Not Vanna White, you know. Yeah, like, like, or if I'm just trying to show somebody a video and I like type, you can't ever type the right word. When you spell things wrong, you're like, I know how to spell the. See, I really just know how to do this. <laughs> okay, and then looking. I'm just taking like these little ones that I cut and I'm just gonna kind of crinkle them. Because witches' brooms are crazy, so you just want these like kind of. Crazy. Okay, and then you're just going to put the treats inside, just a couple treats or whatever else you want to put in there, and then stick your pencil in, and then find whatever rope or string or whatever you want to put around it. So then you're just going to kind of bunch that around the pencil. You want the pencil to show at the top because it's the broomstick, and then just tie it with your rope or your string. You could even put an elastic around the top. Mm hmm and then tie around it. Yeah. Good. Work. And then like you can keep That's it so really cute. simple. You don't have to like add all of these different things. You can keep it very, very simple, especially if you want to make a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But it's also really fun just to add like a little spider 
or like I bought these little cup oh, cake cute. picks and I thought you could even just kind of stick one in there and then it says trick or treat or happy Halloween. So there's so many things that you can go from here but I just wanted to show you the basic little treat bag because I think that these are adorable and such a yes. fun way to give a little Halloween. I feel like I can do this craft. Of I'm not a crafter okay, so you I, feel guys like do I feel like it's cheap and easy. Yeah, super cheap and super yeah. easy. Cool, my turn. <laughs> That is it for our Halloween treat bags. We hope that you were able to follow along. You should really give these a try because they are a really fun and easy craft to make either with yourself or yeah. with your family. Let us know if you try them. We would love to hear all about it in the comments below or also see pictures. So if you make yes. them, take pictures and be sure to tag us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I did a craft. Vote for Carly. So proud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Happy Bye. Halloween.